Hello, friends. It's Chop. It's like a universal remote. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, a, a photo of Douglas MacArthur signed by Harry Hamlin. <laughs> oh, man. Well, uh, yeah, I, I can't I can't wait to see what happens with this. It just seems like uh, I got to say they're they're uh, You know, the, this new season, they're 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 raising the stakes. It's it, it's it's they're, they're hooking us in again. I got to give them credit. The yeah, programmers, it's, the it's showrunners, the archons. They're working overtime, and we re- we, re- we salute them on it. Um, I mean, actually, just like uh, before we get into to, to Trill Billy's, uh, one last thing in terms of the uh, the Archons uh, scripting this this new season of reality that I got to talk about. Uh, prayers up from our boy Salman Rushdie. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ, wow. shit! Like, like okay. I thought everybody had chilled Dude, out on that. That is that, wild. The fact that, like, okay, it does. It does. He it looks like he's going to pull through, but he, I mean, he Jesus, was gravely injured, and like you know, the fact that he lived through it, I'm like, okay, that's that's a G shit. Yeah. you know, like he he lived that long, thirty years yeah. after that shit. Some fucking moron just pokes his liver up at Chautauqu- the Chautauqua Writers Conference. I mean, it's in like Western New York. He'd been living more or less openly in New York for for like decades. And now. like the fatwa had even kind yeah. of been rescinded. Okay, this is funny though. The fatwa had been rescinded, but the bounty was still right. in effect. And it's like, what's he thinking? Is it, are, does he think they're going to put it on his commissary? Yeah, in no, the prison? guy, the guy who stabbed him. We were questioning like. Is he going to get the money? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does you know, it go on his books? Yeah. <laughs> so you're thinking like he's in jail, but he has the most ramen noodles out of anyone <laughs> in like the yeah. New York state prison system. Yeah. He has to start like that guy has to start a new thing in prison. Yeah. Because it's it's like, OK, you're a Southeast Asian Shia Muslim. Yeah. It's like, who do you even you've got to start a new thing. You got to start a new thing. And all those ramen noodle packets will help. Yes, they're gonna yeah. lubricate the transmission. He's gonna be like Mansa Musa, that like fucking like uh, <laughs> African king who like <laughs> would cause hyperinflation on his trap to Mecca because he spent so much gold on everything. Like that would be him in prison. Here's what I don't like about this guy, um, like him stabbing Rashid. <laughs> he stabs self and Rashid. He stabs that's, self and Rashid. That's his business. That's his business. <laughs> but no, no. I mean, it is that like this guy's like. 34. Yeah. How like do you, you care about this? Yeah, he's like those people who like post under Led Zeppelin things on YouTube where they're, they're like, I'm yeah. 12. I well, was that's born the, the thing wrong is, generation. What we're seeing, that's really, this really is meaningful. You're showing like this is the cultural dead end we're all in. We got to like, I'm a young, I'm a younger, I'm a relatively young guy who's frustrated and wants to like have a religious object. I want my own corn, uh, you know, transcendental moment. How do I do it with my cultural context where I don't have corn as my God? <laughs> Uh, oh, what do I have? Just this old fucking deal, this old culture war thing that's like been thirty years old because they're not generating any new anything new to l- believe in anywhere. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, it, it's like they don't even in Iran. They don't. I think like the context for that historically is interesting because it's like no, like the yeah, Ayatollah it wasn't like oh, I like hate Rushdie so much. It was like a flex. It was like. I'm we're the real defenders of Islam. Right. Like Saudi Arabia could say they have Mecca and Medina, yeah, yeah, exactly. but like they can't like they can't openly call for the death of a Western. They can't kill for like yeah, like a like a, a British citizen or like a, yeah, like they're showing yeah. they're like showing like their state yeah. capacity and their ability yeah. to like project power right. globally. Yeah. yeah, we're outside of the fold. Exactly. We can we like they maybe they can secretly kill Westerners. We're you know, openly yeah. well, doing. Well, I mean, it. like look, Saudi Arabia they can they can wipe out all of Cantor Fitzgerald in one day. But if even <laughs> one of those guys had fucked Padma Lashma, you know, oh, yeah. then, like. <laughs> it would have been, been a problem. And you know what? Like, I got to say, Salman Rushdie, I'm like, look, I saw, you know, like, not overwhelming, but like similar to the Charlie Hebdo thing. There are a few dumb babies who are like, um, like, actually, Salman Rushdie, like, uh, deserves yeah. to die for writing a, a novel that I haven't Psych- read. Psych- Shut, up. Shut, Shut the fuck up. up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so you, like, yeah, you were really offended by his portrayal of Muhammad <laughs> in the satanic verses. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. But I got to say, outside, outside any freedom of speech issue, I simply must ride with Salman Rushdie because he is one of the all time greatest pussy getters of all time. <laughs> I got, there is few men who have batted out of like have fought out of their weight class at a higher level than Outrageous. Salman Rushdie did. Insane. Like, <laughs> so, I mean, yo, res- respect. It's like his adjusted stats are are legendary because he's up there with your your like your Warren Beatty's and stuff. But it's like, well, yeah, but yeah, Warren Beatty looks like you, Warren exactly. Beatty. When you consider the handicap here, these are similar <laughs> numbers. It's amazing. He put up Will Chamberlain numbers, and he's like. Five five. He's always looked the same. He's one of those guys that like he looks like Middle Eastern Fraser. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. He is always from the time I was like a infant. He's looked fifty seven years old. Yes, and he's still like 
he's never he's never fucked a woman shorter than five nine. Yep. Like he's God, yeah. And, what can um, you even say? My my other my other favorite favorite detail about Solomon Rusty is like, you know, like like it, it, and when the what the height of the fatwa, when like his life was like truly in danger, he was living with round the clock CIA protection, like CIA bodyguards. They were living in his flat in London and like going everywhere with him. Round the clock CIA agent security detail. Guys who were like, you know, like basically would, would give their lives to save his. At the end of every month, he submitted an invoice to the CIA that charged them for ev- like down to the individual sheet of toilet paper consumed in his apartment, the electricity bill, the water bill, uh, cereal, everything. He fucking squeezed every penny out of Langley for having guys live in his fucking house. He's awesome. He, oh, kick, he kicks ass. You know, we I, we were talking about this uh, yesterday, but don't you think it's interesting how like, I mean, Iran, like the point of the fight was like it was like a sweepstakes. It's yeah. Like, you know. Go out and do your best. Um, but that, like, <laughs> go for it. Yeah, like no one. Believe in yourself. Don't you think it's interesting that no one tried a honey pot? Because it's always been known That's he gets true. Like, kind of yeah. Yeah. like a little disciplined move could get there. Yeah. Yeah, but like I guess they like anyone who anyone who would kill him for that exactly. is so like disgusted they're, by that idea. Yeah, maybe they're, they're not sophisticated enough for that sort of high high end espionage. Act. Yeah, and like Sule, a Suleimani type would be able to put that together, but I don't think like. Like guys that competent gave a shit exactly yeah like that it's mutually exclusive right like if you care about this stuff it's because you're kind of a loser exactly exactly like Suleimani is like well i mean he was a little young at the time but like his equivalent in irgc and Kuds, they were like we're, we're like trying to yeah. like what the fuck are you t-? like no yeah and it's interesting to look at this and see like okay so we had this this attack on rishti but this is there have been zero at least to my knowledge like public terror attacks in the west uh like uh, uh ascribed to anyone or independently uh in response to the Suliani assassination you know there was no real like uh blowback to that there were some missile attacks on u.s bases in iraq but there was no real terror related to it even individual guys taking it upon themselves and it's kind of like well here's a thing where like maybe if you're pissed about Suleimani, you have something better to do with your time than like impotently uh, strike out at the west like you have an actual project a state project that you could participate in. And so you don't need to do the loser thing of just trying to kill somebody. Yeah. I, I wonder like with the Suleimani thing, I think about that a lot because it's like, I didn't expect it to happen like right after, Yeah, you know, that's not really their style. I am kind of curious as to what it will be. If anything. Yeah. It's gotta be something. I mean, I they've got, like. I mean apparently the, they, I mean, apparently they were put a bounty on Bolton. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, th- that's an 83 year old man. <laughs> Like, better hurry up. So I just uh, a bit, a bit of a, a bit of personal connection here with Rushdie. Uh, my mom emailed me this morning because she just forwards me Google alerts for like everything she gets from like uh, like me or our family, and it was a Google alert for Daniel Menneker, and she says I don't see any mention of dad in this. Do either of you? And it's just like an AP news story about Salman Rushdie being attacked, and I, I don't see my dad's name, but he uh, he did edit one of uh, Salman's later novels called Shalimar the Clown. Which, as far as I know, does not have any blasphemous depictions of Muhammad or does not defame the Islamic faith in any way, shape, or form. I just want to be very clear about that. But she says, did you know we went to Rushdie's wedding to Padma Lakshmi? It was quite the event. They got divorced pretty soon after. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nothing. So I, I actually did not know that. I know my dad edited one of his books, but. Nothing gold can stay. Yeah. What can but, you do? Um, just a. Uh, uh, Respect to Salman. Absolutely, I'm, I'm glad yes. he glad he pulled yeah, well, through. Yeah. I mean, I hope he stays crushing pussy with one, you know, he's with one eye. But yeah. that's cool. Man. I get him an eye patch. That's yeah, cool. yeah, that's baller. If anything, I think he like he gets more now. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, like that. That's just that's insane to me. But like thirty years, thirty years. Yeah. And then you just get poked up yeah. just randomly. Wild. Like, that's fucking wild. I'm glad you didn't die though, because I would have been really fucked up. Yeah, that would have yeah. been sad. That would have been really sad. Uh, well, uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's move on to the, uh, second half of the show. An enemy has 
has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Shut down. It was nothing. Really? 